Hey guys, Sarkat here. Just thought I'd let you know we're going to have a Bay class tomorrow. Uh, usual time, uh, 2 p.m. UK. Time will be down below. We'll be joined by Rise, Octavian, Nugian, and myself. Uh, and I'm just going to quickly go through the topics. If there's anything on here you'd like us to talk about which isn't here, leave it down below. And if we have time, I'll add it in. Or if it's really important, I'll make sure it's added in there. So do leave your suggestions. Legion, first impressions, risk versus reward, raw currency incubators, etc. A lot of the talk going into Legion was talking about like how rewarding it could be. Do we like incubators? It turns out to be a very rewarding league. I'm sure we'll have something interesting to say about that. Um, Octavian is our resident softcore player. Again, um, Rise and Nuggie are in hardcore SSF. I'm in a softcore private league and then Octavian is in softcore trade league. Um, so he's going to be giving his insight on the current state of the softcore economy. Your ratios are pretty whack at the moment. Um, talk about the actual visibility. So the visibility of the mechanic, like the icons above enemies' heads, and then the enemy, enemy animations, because visual overload, uh, Chris even said on Bayclass himself, that was one of the main concerns going into Legion from the dev point of view. Uh, do we predict the best league ever feeling to last? A lot of us, myself included, we said this has been the best league start league they've ever had. Do we think this will hold through? Um, personally, I was saying my main fear for Legion is it would be an incursion-like league, where we will all love it, but will it still keep us um, grounded a month now, two months, from, two months from now? Personally, I think it will, but see what the others have to say. Um, how do we like the Legion encounters themselves? So the army fights and so on and so forth. Um, spell versus projectiles versus the melee meta. How are we feeling about the new melee meta? Uh, favorite new skills and support gems. Are we surprised by our Essence Drain Overlords? No, of course not. It was really obvious Essence Drain was going to be ridiculous. Um, Ascendancy reworks, what was, what works, what doesn't. So what Ascendancies have surprised us the most? What straight up doesn't work because it doesn't work in Legion encounters? Um, kind of just giving our thoughts on the meta in general. Maybe some future build ideas might get put in there. Um, Atlas. Octavian has some pretty cool Atlas strategies. Um, otherwise, just talking about what layouts we've been enjoying, um, certain div cards, what works well, like open versus close, open versus closed layouts. Um, and then how do we feel about the HP buffs in the higher content? Like, do we feel like the rares are too tanky in reds? Are they too tanky in incursion? So on and so forth. Patches and bugs. I actually reached out and I did get a quote from Chris. I, this might have also been posted on Reddit somewhere, but I'll just read it out. Um... So, our process for patches haven't changed. We've just been encountering issues that we were unaware of during testing. This is often due to things that don't actually occur within our office network. An example is the crash today. This is in reference to the patch that just went out, which has now been fixed, uh, where it was related to packets over a certain size being split by routers. It took real internet routers at the ISP, internet service provider, to cause this to occur, because our office network wasn't the same as the live internet. We are looking into how we can improve these processes to catch rare issues like that before they are deployed, but it's a bit of bad luck that a few patches in a row have had issues like that. So, I'm not a super technical guy, maybe there might be some people in chat kind of like, yep, yeah, that's fair enough, or nope, that's complete bullshit. But this is what Chris kind of has to say um, on the matter. Hopefully, this has just been a one-off, back-to-back. And it does improve, but I know that uh, Rise has had a few interesting thought processes. I'm sure Al Kaiser's probably had a few interesting thought processes, if the clips have been accurate. Um, people, you know, would like us to talk about it, so we'll be giving our point of view. But again, this will be uh, tomorrow live on my Twitch channel. If you can't catch it live, don't worry. It will be on the YouTube in full as always. And if you're somehow still not aware, we do post short highlights over on Rise's channel. So make sure you check that out. I'm Taki. Have a good day. Bye-bye.